Good morning, everyone. Hello. Good morning. Right. Over the last couple of lessons, we have been talking about Chombai Mountain, yes? Yes. Now, we know Chombai Mountain is located in Jilin Province, where we live. Okay. Now, can anybody tell me how old is Chombai Mountain? Chambai Mountain is about two, uh, 25 million years old. Twen about 25 million years old, or just over. Now, the mountain itself, is it a mountain or is it something else? <laughs> it's a dormant volcano. A dormant volcano. That means it's still technically active, yeah, but it's dormant for now. It is resting, okay? Yes. It is resting. Now, in the previous lesson, we taught that there were seven major things that the mountain and mountainous area around Chombai Mountain offered us. Do, do you remember some of the things it offered us? I mean, the tribal resources, right? Ah, these main resources we get from it. There were seven. Now, do you remember the main resources we get from it? There were seven. Mm. I think the first, uh, first one is about is volcanic landscapes. Yeah, it gives us volcanic landscapes. Mm. And by doing that, it gives us scenery. Yeah, if you remember, we got water, water and gas, coal. Most importantly, the one I like, gold and, and silver. silver. Yeah. yeah, it gives us lots of minerals and resources for us to take, okay? Yes. There's scenery and things and others, okay? But today we are going to look at something that is quite beautiful, can be very big, can be quite small, but it is an attraction that people like to see, okay? Now, does anybody know what this is? This is a waterfall. Yeah, a waterfall. So basically, water will basically fall oh. off something, yes? As you can see here, the river at the top, flowing, there's no land, so it falls down, hence the reason a waterfall. Okay, now there are quite a few waterfalls in Chambai Mountains area, okay? Mm. Now we're gonna have a look at this one, okay? This one is located in Tianqi, okay? Now Tianqi water overflows along the sky mending stone, okay? Sky mending stone. Now they've named the stone, so the water flows over it and down, okay? Now the flow rate of this, okay? waterfall is 1.25 to 5 cubic meters per second. Does it mean very fast? That means that's a lot of water. So you can imagine the size of a car every second going over the waterfall. And then the water for this particular waterfall drops 68 meters. Now we know that water is very powerful. So if it's going from the top and going straight down, it's going to start digging into the earth and forming a pool. And, for, and then the, after it's there, it will then flow off again. But it's always digging a new hole, okay? Now, Chombai Waterfall was listed as the largest volcanic lake waterfall in the world. So, it's listed as the largest volcanic lake. So, the top of the mountain, okay, is full of water. Yeah, we know it's very deep. So, it's actually a lake. Okay, a lake. And it is the largest in the world, according to the Guinness Book of Records. Now, we have other things to look at, okay? Now, here we have Pool in the Sky. Chombai Mountain Tianqi is known as Chombai Mountain Pool in the Sky. Yeah, because Tian means sky, Chi means pool. 
It's like heavenly lake. I've heard. Heavenly lake. So when I went there and I went to the mountain, I looked inside and I just see it full of water. Mm. I just thought it was full of water, you know. It's dormant volcano over years filled with water. But it is now the mountain pool in the sky. Maybe because the, the peak, the, the mountain is quite high. And when this pool is on this mountain, it's like in heaven. Now, if we look at John Bai Mountain itself, okay, we know that it's a mountain, but it's 373 meters, okay, deep. Okay, deep. So we know it's very deep down, full of water, full of water. Okay, somebody has been to the bottom, or something has been to the bottom, and recorded it at 373 meters deep. Now, on average, it is 204 meters. Okay, on average. So its deepest time was 373, but now its deepest point is 204 meters. Now, that is quite deep. Now talk, think about water, okay? You get a glass and you pour water in it. How much water's in there? Not much, we can measure that, yes? Mm -hmm. Just by using the scale. But they reckon there's 9.82 kilometers of water within that mountain. Now we've all, dry, we've all driven cars, we've all walked a kilometer, Imagine almost not, almost 10 kilometers of water in one place, okay? And you know, the mountain is above sea level, okay? So in total, there's 2.4 billion cubic meters of water inside, okay? It's the largest volcanic lake in the world. As we said, it's the heavenly lake. Heavenly lake. Because almost touching the sky. So we know how deep this is. Yeah. And we know how much water is inside. Yeah. So we could say it is very big. Okay, very big. And if this thing was to come active, Everything inside would boil, mm -hmm. shoot up, and something would happen yeah, if it ever erupted again, okay? Now, other things around this area, okay? We have the Yalu Grand Canyon, okay? Grand Canyon. Now, this is located in the south of the scenic area of Trombai Mountain. Here's a picture of it. Now, the canyon was formed when the volcano erupted, okay? Erupted. So this is a natural thing that happened, okay? Now, the canyon itself yeah, is 10 kilometers long, okay? So it's very long, yeah? It's approximately 170 meters deep and 200 meters wide. But this was formed when the volcano erupted, okay, erupted. Now, as you can see, over the years, it's been weathered from the rain and will show a different appearance. Because remember, when the volcano was first formed 25 million years ago, last erupted in 1702 so things have changed okay have changed so we've got canyons we have here hot springs like i was talking about water coming out of the girth okay coming out of the earth and because it's underneath the volcano still a heat source, still live underground, that water is being heated, okay? Heated to a set temperature, yeah? Now the highest temperature this water could reach is 83 degrees, yeah, or 83 Celsius, sorry. 
yeah? But that is very hot. That means if you were to put your hand or feet in it, it would be like putting your hand or foot into a kettle that is almost boiled because water boils at 99. Yeah, so you could probably make a drink from this water, a nice cup of tea or coffee. It's very, very hot. Now, we like hot springs, yes, natural resources. We like to go there to a spa and enjoy the healing mm. powers, feeling the long, hot water. It's good for our bodies. We can relax, okay? We can relax. So, hot springs are very common around the mountains itself. Now we have other features, okay? The U-shaped valley, okay? Like it says, it's shaped like a U, okay? Now this was formed very long ago, okay? It stretches a great distance, okay? It's 300 meters wide. It cuts into the earth between 100 and 200 meters long. And as you can see, it has a flat bottom, okay? A flat bottom. So it's a very large valley, okay? Very large valley with a flat bottom. Now, as you can see, it has vegetation, but as here, it has its raw appearance, okay? There's no vegetation here. It's just pure rock. Mm. So this is how this was formed, okay? When the eruption happened, other things took place. That's why the ge geographical landscape is very different from the mountain to other places within the area it is, okay? Now, moving on. Chombai Mountain is the birthplace of three rivers, yes? yes. There are also many, many different cultures and different minorities that live there, okay? Mm. Now, we will move on to that in our next lesson. Are there any questions? Mm, I've got a question about Changbai Mountains land, natural resources. Okay, it's natural resources. Yeah, yeah, like you said that, for example, the, the U-shaped valley, mm -hmm. There are some vegetations, and there are some part. There are some part that is raw. It's just rock. Does it mean that when the volcano erupted, the the lava from the volcano covered where it it used to be and make it the rock? It could have happened. Yeah. It could also be many things. For example, this is a flat bottom. Okay, flat mm -hmm. bottom. Now, it's protected by the two sides. Now, we know that some plants are carried through the wind. The seeds mm. are carried from the wind or carried from birds and passed to other places. So th this could actually be created here, but certain things can grow and drop. But if it's not here, it's just pure rock. Maybe there's no surface for anything to grow on it. Okay. Yeah? Okay. But for all we know, a million years ago, this could all have been vegetation, but we don't know now because of time has changed, okay? Okay. Land features change, just like mountains change height and size. So I got my second question that we have like so many classes, we introduce a lot of things. Apart from the cultural part, I think mostly the Chiang Mai Mountain mainly the natural resources and the natural features has been preserved quite well. Oh yes, because we need the natural resources. Yeah, spring water, oils, minerals, gold, silver. Yeah, mm. comes from the earth. We're going to protect it and hopefully it will remain dormant for a long time to come. When the volcano erupted, that is, it will do something like Currently, it will do something uh, or do some damage to 
to our to the area, right? Because there are people living there. Yeah, there's people living there, and if that erupted, the people would not be living there. The lava would be so hot it would cremate everything in sight. Species would be lost. And the force of an eruption is equivalent to hundreds of nuclear bombs. So it would be a wait and see. And maybe the mountain would implode, disappear. Or maybe it would get bigger. Mm. But the surrounding area and people would have to move, evacuate very soon. Okay, because the landscape you. would change. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.